Hello, yogis. Welcome back for another yoga story time. My name is Miss Kenzie, and I'm excited to share another story with you. Today, we will be reading Down at the Dino Wash Deluxe, written by Tim Myers, illustrated by Mackie Pamantuan. So, as always, before we get started, we want to start with our ocean breath. So, can you come into your crisscross applesauce asana? Sit up nice and tall. Imagine there's a string attached to the top of your head that somebody's pulling on towards the ceiling. Awesome, friends. So we're gonna do ocean breath with sunshine arms today. So you're gonna take a deep breath in through your nose as you reach your arms up high. At the top, hands come together, and then we're gonna open our mouth, breathe out through our mouth, as we bring our hands to our heart. So when you exhale, a couple of things I want you to think about. Think about one, relaxing your jaw. So we're not holding any tension, your muscles aren't tight in your face, okay? And then number two, as you breathe out, I want you to imagine making the sound of an ocean wave. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Deep breath in. Last one. Excellent, friends. Go ahead and stay in your crisscross applesauce asana, and we will get to it. So, down at the Dino Wash Deluxe. Welcome to the Dino Wash Deluxe. My goodness, look at all those dinosaurs lined up. They're so dirty too. How is a dinosaur supposed to stay clean in the city? We soap them, scrub them, then send them down the line for rinsing and drying. But this job's no picnic. You gotta know the customers. No two dinos are alike and they all need scrub-a-dubbing. So just like no two humans or do bodies are alike, no two dinos are alike, he's saying. Okay, so, oh my goodness, if we look at this picture, he's up on a ladder scrubbing his head, she's scrubbing his feet, and then he's reaching up really high to scrub on top of that Diplodocus. My goodness, there's a guy on top of that dinosaur and one's going, woo, down the tail like a slide. Okay, so we're gonna imagine we're this guy trying to reach up really, really high to scrub that dino, okay? So let's find the short edge of your mat. Feet are hip distance apart. Remember, we can measure, bring your fists together, tuck your chin to your chest, roll on down. We want our feet to be right to the outside of our fists, and then we're gonna tuck our chin to roll back up to the top. Perfect, friends. Now from here, let's step one foot back. Doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna set my left foot back to start. So my front knee is bent, front knee is stacked right on top of my front ankle, and I can see my toes and most of my foot. My back leg is straight and strong, and I want you to think of pressing your back heel towards the floor. If it feels better, you can always have a slight bend in the knee of the heel, a little lifted, okay? Perfect. So from here, let's take a deep breath in, reach one arm up, and then the other, oh my goodness, can you reach up as tall as you can through those fingertips? We're trying to scrub a really tall dinosaur here, friends, so can you scrub, 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 reach up a little higher, scrub, 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 and bring those arms back down. Step forward, we'll switch sides. This dino, he's getting cleaner, but he's not clean yet, so let's step one foot back. Great job, front knee is back, back leg is straight and strong, and I want you to imagine your hips have headlights on them. We want those to be pointed straight forward. Good job. Can we lift your belly button to your heart so your belly muscles are strong? And then we reach one arm up, then the other. And let's get to scrub, 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 scrub and dub in that dinosaur. Oh yeah. Nice job, friends. And one more time. Reach up high. Scrub, 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 scrub. And bring those arms down. Step that foot forward, back to your crisscross applesauce asana. Great work, friends. That is no easy job scrubbing the platypus, that's for sure. 
Our first customer of the day is Ankylosaurus. Ever count all the knobs and spikes on his, this dusty old guy? We wash every last one. Styracosaurus rolls in next. He's plenty of work too. Oh, he's great. But with that frill and those wicked horns, it takes an hour to get him shiny. Can you imagine having to scrub through in between all those spikes and the cracks in his shell and all those spikes around his frill? Oh my goodness, that would take a long time, huh? Okay, so first dino friend we're going to be is Ankylosaurus. So Ankylosauruses are the one that have the, cl the club on their tail. So shoulders on top of our wrists, hips on top of our knees. We're gonna tuck our toes and from here, let's press our hips to sky, chest to thighs. Press those heels to the floor if it feels better in your body. You can always slightly bend the knees, but think of finding that nice long spine I want you to press all 10 of those fingers into the floor. Beautiful. Okay, so this is our Ankylosaurus when he's feeling safe and just kind of wandering around, maybe eating a snack. But what if a predator is close, right? He's going to lift his tail up. Can you lift one leg up? Keep your ankle flexed so your toes point towards your nose like your club. And can we gently swing that tail from side to side? Get out of here, T-Rex. You're not having me for lunch. Good job, friends. And let's put that foot down. Other side, reach your tail up. Uh-uh, Spinosaurus. I'm not going to be your dessert. Swing that tail from side to side. Great job, friends. Set that foot down. And then let's go ahead and come back down to our knees. Awesome, guys. You were great, Ankylosauruses. Okay. Now we're going to be... I gotta look up this name because this dinosaur I'm not familiar with. Styracosaurus. So he kind of looks like Triceratops, right? They're probably in the same family, but he has more horns. So Styracosaurus, yeah, that's his name. Styracosaurus, shoulders stack on top of wrist, hips on top of knees. And I want you to take a deep breath in, lift your gaze up to the sky as you drop your belly to the floor. Toes can be untucked or untucked, whichever feels better for you. Now I want you to imagine, picture yourself as that Styracosaurus with all those shiny horns around your frill and on top of your nose. And can you gently shake your head from side to side? You just got washed, so those horns are all shiny. They're gleaming in the sunshine and you're just kind of showing them off. And guess what? They wash your tail too. So maybe you shake your tail a little bit from side to side along with your head. Remember, just nice and gently. Good job, Sarakosauruses. And then even up those sides. And then we'll come back to center. And from here, back to your crisscross applesauce asana. After his scrub down, Ankylosaurus tells me, just wanted to warn you, kid. Tyrannosaurus Rex is in town. Whoa, that's news to me. Bad news. The T-Rex has never come in before and he's one serious meat eater. Oh my goodness, the T-Rex is in town. Yikes. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna come down onto our hands and knees again, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. And I want you to take a deep breath in. Let's reach your right arm up to the sky, okay? So from here, you're gonna breathe out. I want you to take your right arm underneath your body. And if you're on the left, that's okay too. You're gonna reach the arm underneath your opposite arm, come all the way down onto your shoulder, and then onto your temple, or your kind of putting your ear towards the floor. Great job, friends. So you can stay right here. Or maybe you walk your left hand out, your opposite hand, so your arm hugs your ear. Perfect, friends. Now your ear is pointed up to the sky. Okay, so imagine dinosaurs are pretty big, right? So we're looking up at that Ankylosaurus, listening in. So maybe make your scared face because you just heard the Tyrannosaurus Rex is in town as you listen to your Ankylosaurus friend giving you that warning. Good job, friends. If you walk that hand out, walk 
the hand back underneath your shoulder. And then we inhale the right arm back up to the sky. Exhale, set it down, back in our all fours. Now we've got to do the other side. Deep breath in, reach the left arm up. Exhale, hand comes underneath the body, down to the shoulder, down to the temple, ears up to the sky. You can stay right here. Maybe you walk the right hand out so that arm hugs the ear, reaching your fingertips and hips in opposite directions. Listening in, make your scared face again. Oh no, the T-Rex is in town. Yikes. And then walk that hand back under your shoulder if you walked it out. We inhale the left arm up. Exhale, set it back down. And we're back to your crisscross apples asasana, friends. But there's no time to worry about that now. I've got work to do. Pachycephalosaurus is next in line. He's as bald as Mr. Shine Top, my principal. I climb a ladder to rinse him. And I love hosing down Quetzalcoatlus. Sometimes she sneaks a beakful and douses me. Oh my goodness, sounds like he has some pretty awesome customers, if I do say so myself. Sounds like a fun job. All right, Pachycephalosaurus, he has that hard dome on his head, right? So we are gonna start, um, this is gonna be a balance pose, guys. So we're gonna start on one foot, doesn't matter which, okay? So I'm gonna start on my left foot. My left leg is going to be my standing leg. So I'm gonna pick up all those toes, Put down one, two, three, four, five. So I'm rooting my foot into the floor, feeling nice and strong here. And then I'm gonna lift up onto the toes of my right foot. I'm grounding into my standing leg. And from here, I'm gonna cross my right foot over my left, but keep my toes down on the floor. Awesome, right there with me, friends, great job. So my left leg is under my right. Okay, I'm going to take a deep breath and reach my arms out. I'm gonna bring my left arm under my right, bend my elbows, and bring the backs, of, or excuse me, the palms of my hands together here, and then reach my hands up towards my head. Awesome, friends, and then from here, sit down like you're sitting in a chair. Great job, pachycephalosauruses. Roll those shoulders back, can you be as tall as you can here, even as you sit down in your chair? Great job, guys. And then we take a deep breath and reach those arms up. Untwist those arms. Untwist those legs. We have to do it on the other side. Pick up those toes. One, two, three, four, five. I'm strong now in my right foot. Come up onto the toes of my left. Cross the left foot over, keeping the toes down. Great job. You reach the arms up this time. Right hand goes under left. I bend the elbows. Bring my palms together. If it feels better, you can always keep the backs of your hands together too, friends. Okay? So I'm tall here. And then I sit down like I'm sitting in a chair as I lift my arms up to the sky. Great job, guys. Whew, my shoulders are tight. I'm getting a nice stretch here. Great job, pachycephalosauruses. And then we'll slowly stand up, release those hands. Release the legs, awesome. Okay, Quetzalcoatlus is next. This is also a balance exercise. This time though, go ahead, face the short edge of your mat. Pick your standing leg, so let's go back to the left. Okay, since our right leg was just working. So I pick up all five of my toes, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna come up onto the toes of my other foot, and I'm going to start to slide that foot back. Think of hinging from the hips. Your chest is coming forward towards the floor. My right toes are getting lighter as they slide back. So maybe you stay right here with those toes still on the floor. That's a great option, friends. Or maybe you start to slowly lift that right leg up. Great job. Reach along through those fingertips like you've got your wings. You're flying. And I want you to also think of keeping your chest parallel to the floor. So we're not diving quetzalcoatluses. We're just flying nice and easy here. Reach long through those fingertips, friends. One more deep breath here. And then we slowly lift. 
up toes to the floor we slide them forward put that foot down we'll do the other side so now we pick up our right toes put them down one two three four five we root and ground into the floor here friends great job up onto the toes on your other foot we start leaning back where are you reaching long through those fingertips we're tall and long in that spine as we hinge from our hips our left toes are getting lighter here Remember, you can keep the toes down or maybe you slowly start to float that back foot off the floor. Chest is parallel to the ground. So remember, we're not diving. We're just flying nice and even through the sky. Great job, friends. Reaching along through those fingertips. Whoa, your standing leg is working real hard. Great job, friends. One more deep breath in. Deep breath out. And then we slowly start to lift our chest, toes gently touch to the floor. We bring that foot forward and set it down. Great work, everybody. We all sigh when Spinosaurus slogs in. His fin is 20 feet long and six feet high. That T-Rex is gonna show up here soon, you know. I've had run-ins with him myself. Spinosaurus says, shuddering. I try not to think about it. I've got to be brave. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine trying to wash that fin? Holy guacamole. Okay, Spinosaurus says. So we're going to come down onto our hands and knees again. Okay. And from here, I want you to come down onto your forearms. Okay. Right? So here, our shoulders are stacked on top of our elbows. I want you to spread your fingers apart and press those hands into the floor. Okay, now from here, let's step one foot back and then the other one. Okay, so now we're in what's called forearm plank. We're long and strong in our spine. And I want you to press your chest back to your thighs as you press your hips to sky. And from here, let's tiptoe those feet forward. Great job, friends. You got that tall sailor spine sources. Maybe it feels better to bring your hands together. That's a great option here too. Good job, Spinosaurus. Press those heels to the floor. Maybe tiptoe those feet in a little bit more if that feels okay for you. Let's take one more deep breath in. Deep breath out. And we'll slowly drop our knees to the floor. Press up onto our hands and back in your crisscross applesauce asana. Stegosaurus is finicky about his fins. Make them clean as dinner plates, he orders. Yikes, what if T-Rex wants me on a dinner plate? It'll be okay, I tell myself. Whoa, those are a lot of plates to clean as clean as dinner plates. All right, my friends, this time we're gonna come all the way down. So shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. From here, you can put your knees together, or maybe you take them out as wide as your yoga mat. That's what I'm going to do, because that's what feels best in my body. But remember, you do what feels best for you, okay? So from here, I'm going to sit my hips back on my heels, reach long through my fingertips, and rest my forehead on the floor, okay? So this is a good start to our stegosaurus, but we're missing something. What are we missing? Oh yeah, his plates. So let's bring your hands together, bend your elbows, and bring your hands to the back of your neck. So your biceps, or the top of your arms, are hugging your ears, and your hands are together. Spread those fingers apart, and imagine this is the first plate on your back. And you've got a whole line of them going all the way down your spine to your tail. Great job, friends. Let's take a deep breath here. Deep breath out. And one more because I think being a stegosaurus feels pretty good. One more deep breath in. Deep breath out. And then we'll extend our elbows, reach our hands back out in front of us. Walk the hands out so our hands are pressing into the floor. And then inhale back up to tabletop 
and you can come into your crisscross applesauce asana. Who's that? Then the big guy shows up. There he is, thudding down the street. A monster straight out of my nightmares. His mouth is as big as a cavern. His teeth are as long as daggers. His footsteps make the windows rattle. Towering overhead, T-Rex stops, turns, and eyeballs me. Oh my goodness, all right. So T-Rex thundering down the street. So let's go ahead, we're gonna set up at the back edge of your mat, friend. So facing the short edge, Let's take those feet hip distance apart. Remember, fists together, tuck the chin. We roll on down, feet come to just the outside of the hands, tuck the chin, roll on up. Great job. So from here, friends, go ahead, keep your elbows tight to your body, and we're gonna bend them up to 90 degrees. And kind of let your wrists relax, right? Because T-Rex has short arms, yeah? Okay, so from here, go ahead, sit on down like you're sitting in a chair. You've got a nice, tall, long spine. And now I want you to take big T-Rex steps. Are you ready? Boom. 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 One more. Boom. And then stop right here, T-Rexes. You're looking down. You're at the car wash. Maybe can you make your fiercest T-Rex face there? Great job, guys. One more deep breath here. And then we're gonna slowly stand it on up. All right, guys. Whoa, it's getting intense. T-Rex has arrived. I'm shaking in my rubber boots. To him, I'm not much more than a pork chop. I take a deep breath. <sighs> Welcome to the D Dino Wash Deluxe. C -c -c Can I help you, sir? Give me the works, he snaps. Sure, I say, gulping hard. Will, uh, soap you, scrub you, then rinse and dry. First, let me grab the shampoo. Oh my goodness. I would be shaking in my boots too. So let's take those feet out a little wider than your shoulders, friends. Toes are pointed out at 45 degrees. So that means not straight forward, not to the side, halfway in between. Great job, friends. Now let's reach those arms up. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Bend your knees, sit down like you're sitting in a chair again. Arms are up and then, oh my goodness, I'm scared. Are you scared? Can you? Give me your scared face and shake it up. Shake, shake. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm shaking my boots. Ah. And deep breath in. And relax. Great job, guys. Back to that crisscross applesauce asana. He leans in closer, glaring at the shampoo bottle I'm holding. You're not going to use that, are you? He growls. Whoa, he is getting down right in his face, huh? All right, so we're gonna lean in a little closer to T-Rexes. Can you find the top of your mat, the short edge of your mat, feet are hip distance apart. You can always measure that if you need to. We're gonna start by stepping one foot back. Doesn't matter which one, okay? So. The foot that you stepped back, those toes are gonna to be facing the long edge of your mat. Your front toes are still pointed towards the short edge of your mat, okay? So now I want you to bend into that front knee. Keep that back leg straight and strong. Your front knee stepped right on top of that front ankle. Great job, guys. Deep breath in, reach those arms up. Good, reaching as long as you can from your fingertips to your other fingertips. Great job, friends. And I want you to shift slightly forward like you're reaching to touch something. And then exhale, bring your back hand down, slide it down your back leg as you reach your front arm forward over your head. 
So imagine the T-Rex is getting a little closer here. Still reaching long through the fingertips, but he's getting closer to our friend, the car wash attendant, right? And then let's take a deep breath in. Step it forward. Great job, other side. So now we step our other foot back. That means my right foot for me since I did my left to start. Those back toes are pointing towards the long edge of your mat. Front toes towards the short. Bend into that front knee so it's right on top of that ankle. Back leg is straight and strong. Reach long through those fingertips. Standing up tall in our spine, remember, like somebody's pulling on that string. We're going to take a deep breath and shift forward. Exhale, slide the back hand down the leg as we reach the top arm up. T-Rex is leaning in. You're not going to use that, are you, he says. And then deep breath in, reach back up. Deep breath out as you set that foot forward and you're back into your crisscross applesauce asana. But it's just a little shampoo, I tell him. Are you afraid? Me? Afraid? He bellows. Well, maybe you don't like soap in your eyes. It stings. He whimpers, oh my goodness, look at that big T-Rex. He was just scared, that's why he was so angry. Okay, so he started out really tall, right? Really tall and big, really intimidating. And then he got a little closer to him, right? And now his head is all the way down on the floor. So can we hang nice and heavy like that T-Rex? So tuck your chin to your chest. Hang your head and hands heavy towards the floor. It stings, he whimpers. Great job, friends. Maybe while you're here, you take a hold of opposite elbows and gently shift your weight from side to side. Just letting everything hang nice and heavy. Imagine that you're that big T-Rex. You're huge, right? You're the monster among dinosaurs, so you weigh a lot. So just imagine letting all that weight hang heavy towards the floor. Great job, friends. Bring it on back to center. Let those elbows go if you took a hold of them. And then we'll tuck our chin to your chest and roll all the way up to standing. Great job, guys. Suddenly, I know just what to do. Don't worry. I used to be afraid of that too, I whisper to him. Really? He says, totally. But we do things right at the Dino Wash Deluxe. I won't get a speck of soap in those peepers. Sure enough, I clean him up in a jiffy, soap him, scrub him, send him down the line. And afterwards, he's just so proud of himself. Oh my goodness. So he reassures him that it's gonna be okay. And then look what he gives him, goggles. He sure is prepared. And that T-Rex by the end, he's so proud of himself. And guess what? You guys should be too. So I want you to think about when you feel proud of yourself, what does that feel like? You feel strong and confident and just kind of radiate this sense of positivity. You give off that positive energy, right? So. That's what I want you to give up while we're in this pose. So we're gonna have our feet hip distance apart. Remember, you can always measure with our fists. And let's go ahead and pick up all 10 toes and put them into the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good, so we're pressing our feet into the floor. We feel strong and grounded here, unmovable. Slight bend in the knees. And then I want you to reach long through your fingertips. Great job, shoulders are out of the ears. You're standing up as tall as you can. Great big smiles, because you are so proud of yourselves. Just like that T-Rex is. Great job, guys. Let's take a deep breath in here. Deep breath out. And let's do that one more time. But as we breathe in, I want you to imagine that you're breathing in that confidence 
in yourself, your pride in achieving whatever you want to achieve. We made it through a car wash to your exes without getting soap into our eyes. That's really awesome. Okay, so take a deep breath in, breathe in that confidence and that excitement and that sense of achievement and breathe out fear and doubt. One more time, deep breath in, deep breath out. Great job, guys. Ever since that day, T-Rex has been a perfect gentleman. Now we even scrub his back chompers. You know what? I love working at the Dino Car Wash Deluxe. It's a job of sorus. And if I play my cards right. Okay, oh my goodness, look at that. He's brushing those big teeth. <laughs> and I love this little dinosaur over here, the T-Rex is at him. He's like, oh my goodness. Okay, you ready to brush the T-Rex's teeth? We're gonna come on down. Shoulders on top of our wrists. We have our hips on top of our knees to start. So you can stay right here, friends. Maybe you step one foot back and you stay right here. Maybe you step another foot back. So this is a great place to be, or maybe you can always set your knees down as well. You can have one leg up. So many ways to play with this one. Okay, so imagine, you're a toothbrush and you've got to scrub the teeth. So we're going to slightly shift our weight forward and shift our weight back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Our fingers are spread apart. We're pressing into the floor here. Great job, guys. Forward and back. Scrubbing those teeth. We're lifting our belly buttons up to our heart. Our core is strong. Nice job, guys. We're almost done. Here we go. We've got three. Two, one more tooth, and drop down to your knees and back in your crisscross applesauce on them. So let me start the sentence over again. And if I play my cards right, one of the customers might take me for a ride. Look at all that. He's even towering above the dinosaurs because he's flying. So cool. All right, guys, you ready to go for a ride? Another balance pose here, friends. Let's start on our right side. Pick up your five toes. One, two, three, four, five. Up onto the ball of the foot on the left side. So you can stay right here. Or maybe you slowly lift that knee up. And then spread those wings and gently here. Great job, guys. Flying with our customer, the Quetzalcoatlus. Great job. And then we'll slowly bring everything down and switch sides. So pick up your five toes on the left. One, two, three, four, five. Up onto the toes of your right foot. Remember, you can stay right here. Or maybe we slowly lift that knee as Quetzalcoatlus stretches it with its wings and gently flies through the sky. Great job, friends. And we'll go ahead and slowly bring everything back down. Awesome, okay. Before we say goodbye, we'll finish with T-Rex breath, okay? So let's go ahead, we're gonna come down onto our knees. Toes are untucked and you're gonna sit back on your heels, okay? So from here, go ahead, Grab hold of your knees, just nice and gently, not a death grip, just gently placing your hands here, okay? So sit up as tall as you can. You're gonna take a deep breath in through your nose, and when we breathe out, you're gonna stick out your tongue, like a T-Rex is roaring, okay? So deep breath in, good, two more just like that. one. Great job, guys. You can stay right here. If you want to come back into your Chris Crab Temple Sasasana to say goodbye, you are welcome to do that. Go ahead and bring your hands to your heart. Let's close those eyes. 
just taking a second to picture all those cool dinosaurs we got to see today. And just like the T-Rex, let's take a deep breath in, breathe in courage and confidence and positive energy. And then we're gonna breathe out fear and doubt. Are you ready? Deep breath in, deep breath out. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. I had a great job, great time <laughs> at the Deluxe Dino Car Wash with you. Next week, we are going to start a new series uh, that I was hoping to start this week, but it just didn't work out timing-wise. So next week, we are going to start reading some of the books from the Washington Children's Choice Awards list. Okay, so what that is, it's a list of 20 books that have been nominated by the Washington Library Association um, to share with students in grades K through three in Washington State. So in the spring, kids in those grades are gonna vote on their favorite book out of the 20 books that they read with their librarian. So we're going to read a few of them the rest of this month and maybe even into March. We'll just have to see, but I'm super excited to start sharing those with you friends. There are a lot of cool books on the list. So I look forward to sharing that starting with you next week. Have a great one friends, bye.